Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mr. Google, you're watching a tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can use your smartphone, in my case iPhone, but it works on Android as well, device as a wireless webcam. There are two things required. One is a PC with Windows or Mac OS X. Two, you need a smartphone, in my case iPhone, but Android works as well. So on your PC, a small note, you will have to have a wireless connection to connect because it's wireless, obviously, yay. <laughs> I, I do want to mention it before you follow this tutorial, but what it does is you will have to install the app EpochCam Wireless Computer Webcam for your Android device or iOS. You download it and then you go to the Kinoni webpage.com. I will place links in the description as always. And you download the Windows drivers. After you have done that, for example, and you want to use it as a webcam, in my case, I'm using OBS, you can use it for that. You right click sources, you click add, you click video capture device, and you give it a name. I'm In my case, I called it iPhone. Uh, properties, right click it. And as a device, if you want to edit, you can select the Epoch Cam. It's called Epoch Cam. You do that. And if you want to, you can, I think you can even use the microphone. It's not recommended, but a custom resolution if you want to. If you're using the free version, it, it's free. But if you upgrade, it's uh, an HD webcam. So for those who want to know that, you can use it as an HD webcam as well. If you go to the paid version, which is not something I am personally going to do, because this is more than enough resolution for me in my specific purpose, you can then remove the watermarks over here. So there's EpochCam to your left and Kinoni to your right over there. So if you want to remove that you will probably have to upgrade to the paid version but other than that it's pretty nice. So as always guys thank you for watching. If you have some questions leave them in the comments down below. Um, if you tend to use this for live streaming watch out because if you do lose your connection I believe that the Kinoni video source will go to a black screen and it will show your IP address of your phone or something like that. So keep that in mind. But as always guys, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, for those who are still figuring out what webcam they are going to use or, or they do not want to buy one, you can use this instead for the meanwhile. So thank you and goodbye. Please like the video if you liked it. That would greatly help me out. And as always, goodbye.